Denver is about to kick off an event to help its restaurants. One of the industry's hardest hit by the pandemic. More than a year into this thing now, there are still a lot of restrictions, but restaurants are getting a chance to showcase their stuff. Denver 7 consumer reporter Eric Lufer joins us live from Larimer Square downtown. Eric. Good morning. You know, you can make a reservation for the first ever Denver Spring Restaurant Week. It's three weeks away. Why are we telling you so uh, so many weeks ahead of time? Well, with these restrictions, with the capacity restrictions, slots are going to fill up very, very fast. So if you go to Denver.org Restaurant Week, there's a link right at the top. You can't miss it. With a clean and safe resource guide. We're talking about the pandemic here. Visit Denver saying in part, the safety and well-being of our community partners and visitors is our number one priority. Now, pre-pandemic, Denver Restaurant Week happened during slower winter months to help boost business. COVID changed all that. So Visit Denver decided to move it to spring. Why? Patio weather, right? Which will allow for a safer and hopefully busier experience. Is it a really good deal? Well, multi-course meals run 25, 35, or 45 bucks per person. And if you end up going to a more expensive spot that you don't go to usually, that rarely offers meals under 50 bucks, then you're absolutely getting a deal. Global food options. Surprisingly, we're seeing a fair amount of seafood, which, you know, Denver is a really good seafood town. It doesn't get nearly the credit that it deserves. And so you'll see some fun options there. There's always, you know, good comfort food out there. And uh, of course, because the restaurants can also do, you know, alcohol um, to go as well as in person, you'll see a lot of cocktail pairings, wine flights, beer flights. There you go. The restaurant week menus are being released today at 11 a.m. So you can start planning. Nearly 200 restaurants are participating this year. Something else that's unique about this week, you can splurge a little bit more because restaurants are offering different wines and special desserts that you don't get most of the time. So, hey, you can splurge, enjoy it, and also keep these businesses going in such a tough time. I'm downtown. Eric Wu for Denver 7. Wine and dessert? I don't even need dinner after that.